So I've had a couple of people asking me if I would do a land trust and I just said, well, we would consider doing a lease option. Those are different, right? They probably said, would you consider doing a land contract? Land contract. Just, yeah, land contract. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You just tell them no, we want to do a lease option. But okay. good, good news is money all works the same. It's a down payment, uh, you know, and a monthly payment. What's the most you could afford on a down payment? Okay. You know, start putting so, it back on them because you know, you don't want to get into like a whole long conversation and negotiation with somebody who ain't got no money. You gotcha. I mean? Okay. So money. essentially a land contract, isn't that just basically like seller finance? Is that? It's like uh, an agreement for deed where you retain title uh, until the, all the stipulations of the agreement are met. And those would typically include the buyer makes X payment per month for X months. Okay. But it's just better to do the lease option. That way we have them buying it faster and that kind of thing. Yeah. The, the, in my view, the main determinant of which paperwork or which type of exit you want to use lease option, land contract, seller finance note, and that sort of thing is in that state where the property is, which way is going to allow me to get the property back the fastest if my buyer defaults? In my state, North Carolina, lease option is the fastest, so I use lease option.